Hi all, today we're going to learn how to search a multi-dimensional array using JavaScript. So go ahead and download this template from the link below. Open it with your favourite editor. Now the first thing that we'll need to do is create a way for the user to input their search query. So we can do that by using a HTML form. Form. We'll have to give that form a name so that um, we can access it in code. So you can call it anything you like. Search, as long as it's uh, unique. Search form. And we'll also have to give it an action. Basically that's what method it will call in JavaScript. So we can prefix that with JavaScript. JavaScript um, search animals. Just say we're searching an array of animals. Now we'll need some input in here. So input type will equal text. This is where they'll type their search query. And the name, we'll have to give it a name so that we can access what they type. Search query. Okay, duplicate that. We'll also need a submit button. So that's of type submit. We won't need a name for it, but we can change its value. The default value is you probably uh, probably submit, I think. So we'll just change that to search. Great. Now it'll expect this method to exist somewhere. So let's go ahead and create that. Function search animals. What does it do? Not very much. We'll fill that in later. So search the animals array. First thing we'll want to do though is declare some variables. So we'll need our output text, won't we? If we can just set that to an empty string. And we'll also want our I'll just put the variable keyword there. We'll also want our array of animals. So we can just call that animals. Because we're doing a multi-dimensional array, we'll need the full of the array like that, and we'll also need lots of arrays within it. So what are we going to put in each one? Well, let's just pick some animals and some properties of animals. Say their size. So a small cat and maybe a color, uh, black. Okay, so we want to repeat this a few times to test our searching. We'll do it three, we'll do it seven times. Okay, so we'll have um, a dog, we'll have a couple of dogs in here. We'll have an elephant, elephant, and we'll have a rhino. Um, we'll have, yeah, we'll have another cat there. That'll do. The rhino can be gray. The elephant can be gray as well. And they'll both be large. I'm just mixing it up a bit so that we can test our searching fairly well. Um, Small, they can't all be dogs. The dog can be medium. That dog can be small. Okay, this cat can be brown. This cat can be white. Dog, small, black. We'll have a brown dog here. That'll do. Right, we'll probably want to show the user the full array so that they can see what they're searching, at least for our testing purposes. So we can do that. We'll probably need to put a, a div up here so that we can show something before the button. We'll call that output above and we'll change this one to output below. Show array. Because it's multi-dimensional, we'll probably have to use a loop 
So let's do a use a for loop uh, for the length of the array. Okay, and we just want to print out each, I guess, each array on each line. So we can do that by using our output text. Output text plus equals. We don't want to overwrite it each time. Um, to make it look more like an array, let's use square brackets here. Plus the animals position I plus square bracket, closing square bracket, and we'll put it on a new line by using the br break command or HTML tag. And we'll have to output that. So to do that, we need to use document, get element by ID, and the element we want is this one here. So just paste that in there. We're going to set its inner HTML to this output text. Okay, let's try that. Okay, there we go. So there's our search field. That's the full array. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we do anything, it won't, you know, it's not going to do anything, is it? because we haven't wired it up yet. Right, so how are we going to search this thing? Well, we need to search the text of each individual cell, don't we? We couldn't just do an overall search. It probably wouldn't work. So to do that, let's do a for loop. It's okay to repeat i here because we're in a different for loop. For i equals zero, i is less than animals dot length, i plus plus. Now that will get us to this level. It'll be searching that and that, but we, we want to go further than that. We want to go inside each. So we'll go for, I'll just copy and paste that. Just change the variable name to j. j is less than animals. Now, we'll be inside each of these, uh, the second dimension. So we'll have to do this, animals i dot length. j, oops, yeah, that's right. Animals i dot length. And then j plus plus. Right now, that will get get sorry that'll get us to the individual string. Now to test whether uh, that string contains our search query, well that's something we haven't gotten, has it? We haven't got the search query. So in or, in order to get that, hmm, we'll have to get it here inside this function because when they, this function doesn't run until they hit the search button. So we'll have the query, let's call that Q, will equal document forms, that's an array of forms, and then we can use the name of that form that we're looking for, so search form. Why didn't that stay there? And then we can use the element that we're looking for. So the input in this case is search query. So search form, search query. And we want its value. So that's the value that the user has typed in. And that will be assigned to Q. It will be a string. So if, now we want to see if that Q, so the search query, is within the text that we're searching in the uh, animals array. Okay, so if animals i j, 
So that'll be the individual field, such as dog or small. If that, now we can use, a, so that's a string. We can use a function called search. It's an inbuilt function. And we can just search for the query. Now remember the query could be a part query, it could be a substring, couldn't it? Somebody could search for SMA or, or DO or something. So this will return the position of that. Uh, so just say they search for L. Well that would be 0, 1, 2, 3 it would appear. Now we don't care what, what position it is, we just care that it exists. Now if it doesn't exist, it will return minus 1. So if this doesn't equal minus one, if animals search that doesn't equal minus one, then that means it's found something and we can safely add it to our output text. Now remember our output text was being used up here before, so we'll want to reset that. So output text equals that. So output text plus equals, how about we just output the array, animals i. In similar vein to, this, the same vein as this, we'll do that actually. So we'll just be outputting that line. Now if we find, for example, we're searching this subarray and we find DO appears here, right? So that's dog. We don't want to continue searching in here, do we? We've already identified that this array contains something. So we can break. We can break at that stage. That will just break this for loop. It won't continue searching through each element. Because for example, if we search for the letter O, it would find dog and it would find brown. Therefore, it would print that line twice, which we don't want. So we'll just put a break there. Okay, and after the for loop, so after searching, we'll output to the uh, screen. Just doing that. And we want to output it below. Shall we try it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so just say we search for cat. There we go, cat small black, cat small white, cat small brown. If we searched for, um, just say we search for rhino, RH, so part, partly of, yep, yeah, rhino large grey. If we search for grey or GR, we get great, large and grey. If we just search for something more common like an E, just to make sure it's not doubling up, good. Now what if we remove that break, just to show you what I meant before. Let's search for E again. See that it's double, it finds an E in elephant, prints that line. Finds an E in large, prints that line. Finds an E in grey, prints that line. Not what we really want. So put that break back. Okay, try white. Just find a white cat. Find DO for dog. Yep. Yeah. LA for large. Seems to be working well. What if we search for something that's not there? Let's try it. We just get a blank, not very user friendly. So to fix that up, we could just say, well, what would happen if nothing is found, then output text equals that, doesn't it? It just gets through here. So we can just put an if condition here. Uh, if output text equals an empty string, we can just set that to equal some message, right? Sorry, no result. Sorry, no result. Let's test that. There we go, and make sure it's still working for other things. D, dog, yep. K, black. W, N, brown. Z or X. Sorry, no result. Perfect. And there we go. And that's how we search a multi-dimensional array using JavaScript. Thank you for listening. Uh, I'll post the link for this file below, so feel free to download it and play with it. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Cheers.